Welcome, welcome everyone to another episode of Time for BL. This is the podcast where we review movies, TV shows, novels, and comics, all in the boys love genre. This is the second show I'm recording in the same night. Uh, If you just listened to the Vice Versa podcast, then um, you know that I was out. I was on vacation and now I'm getting ready to just record a bunch of stuff. So this is a dump. Um, (laughs) It's an episode dump. Um, But right now I'm actually getting ready to record his man and his man came up with two new episodes so episode six and episode 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 six and episode seven and i just have to say on um the itchy site they had a pic they have a picture on the poster of changu and hoki and they look so cute together that they are now my uh ship in the dating show (laughs) can we ship people in the dating show i mean they are real life people and uh uh well jung ho sorry i call him his uh instagram handle this is like a dancing name right um but yeah like (laughs) they are so cute together they look so cute all right let's watch this i'm so excited it is episode six we're starting off with this is going to be a long episode but we're starting off with episode six of his man look at the quad room holy shit (laughs) Oh my god, I, I'm just like, alright, let's get into the episode. And then I have to pause. So this is what I was wondering if this was going to happen. So, um, the, the, the last episode <laughs> we saw, episode 5 was like confession night. It was just like a bunch of people making confessions. And Changmin called Junghyun, and Junghyun called Changmin. <laughs> and I was like, they're in the same room. How's this going to work? Jungho is sleeping in Changmin's spot with Changyu. Which again, I'm like, Changyu and Jungho look cute together. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, yo, is that Changmin and Junghyun in the other bed? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm crying real tears right now. <laughs> Are they actually like, yeah, we dating now. <laughs> Whew, okay, I'm calm. I've calmed down. Yay! <laughs> they played darts to pick spots and Chapman got first place and chose to sleep. <laughs> oh, Jungyo was setting that up. Oh my god, poor baby Jungyo sucks at darts. <laughs> And Jungyo is no better. <laughs> oh God, he's trying to figure out why Changmin gave him his his. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. He originally did try to call Changmin, and Changmin didn't answer because he was in a dead zone with his cell phone, so he missed the call. So I forgot he likes Changmin too. Um, and Jung- <laughs> Jungyo just got. Will he be happy? Oh my god. Did did he switch with him? Because Junghyun um is a restless sleeper and talks to his sleep and stuff like that? Or did he switch with him because he wants to be near Junghyun? Let's find out. <laughs> oh, he likes Junghyun the best, so he wants to share bed with him. Okay, there we go. So it's selfish reasons. Hyun is beside Hyun. Jun, hold up. Alright, wait. So they read the card. The card said that they're supposed to pack up the stuff in their room and wear comfortable clothes. And they're all like, what's gonna happen? Why are we wearing comfortable clothes? Do we pack up all our stuff? Are we packing our suitcases? What's going on? Um, so Chang Yu had gotten up early to make breakfast and Jung Ho went with him and helped him make breakfast on his first night in the house, first day in the house. Oh my god, so sweet. Again, they look so cute together. Oh my god, I ship. <laughs> so weird shipping. Um, anyway, um, 
Yeah, so um, now they're all around the table, and Hyukjin and Hyun are sitting beside each other. And remember, Hyukjin called Changmin in the previous episode. He did not call Hyun, he did not call Unchen. <laughs> the two guys who are basically fighting over him right now <laughs> throw the whole man away. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. Now um, they're trying to figure out, you know, what's going on. They're eating their breakfast and everything. It's so sweet. I'm surprised nobody's going. So who did you call last night? <laughs> Wait for that. I I had to rewind a while ago because I knew it was him stirring up some pots. <laughs> he said. So Jungkook was like, I like my room because you know we share a bed. And I leaned over to Jungkook like, we share a bed. <laughs> And Jungkook is like, yeah. And Hyun says, what? What's going on between you two? <laughs> Dang. You could have just met, let the moment pass, but you just had to say something. You had to open your mouth. But then, uh, then again, also just remembered him and Jungkook are actually friends. So there's that too. Now everybody with the speculations. Oh, I want Sunil to get jealous. Okay, I just saw Changmin's purple outfit. And that is cute. Oh my gosh. Like he just looks like a model. And uh Changmin suit says nerdy. Okay, so they've discussed they've discovered that they're gonna be exchanging rooms. And you're gonna be able to try and get the roommates you want. Hmm. You know Hyun wants to get hooked in a room, but uh mm. Hyun, if we're going to new rooms, it may help change the way we think in other words you might like me more <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just like pinning all this on for him i need to stop they're gonna drive some cars so yeah they just talked a bit about what would you do who do you want to share a room with da, 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 da. um in the cars on the way and now they're gonna do some go-karts go-karts are so much fun um now they're gonna do some go-kart racing to see who gets to share who gets to choose the new room assignment I guess. Ooh, let's see. You know, someone actually asked if you need to drive a go-kart without a license. <laughs> Hold up. Have they never done go-kart racing before? I guess, yeah. I guess, yeah, if you haven't done go-kart racing before, you don't know that, like, even kids drive go-karts. Like, they're, they're, it's just, it's a go-kart. <laughs> but that, that caught me off guard. Can you drive it without a license? It's a go-kart. Yeah, I guess, yeah, it depends on where you're from if you're, like, exposed to that stuff, I guess. But I remember kids doing go-kart races and stuff like that. Um, a family I know, they're from a racing family, and their kids drive go-karts in, like, a beginner race thing. And then um, the plan was they work their way up and become racers. They, they didn't. <laughs> they all went on to other things in life. It's so weird seeing people wear helmets on go-karts. Because I'm used to people driving go-karts without a helmet. Like, it, have I been doing it wrong all these years? I love that Unchan in the interview straight up says, I have to defeat Hyun. Like, it's like, I don't care who else I beat. I just need to beat that mother right there. That's all I heard. Changu is so adorable. Changu is so adorable, but he flipped out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is tense only because I know they both want to share a room with uh, um, Hyun Or maybe, you know, Unchan is over it and just wants to beat Hyun at something. But neither of them got a call from the dude. Like, Sunil! <laughs> I don't think Sunil understand. Oh, he doesn't have a driver's license, so he's never actually tried driving anything even for fun. Okay. What? You've never played Need for Speed, my dude? <laughs> Hyun wins the first round. Hyun wins the first round. Uh, poor Unchan. I really wanted him to get this. I just really wanted him to get this. <laughs> oh, God, I hate your face. Oh, Changyu, um, Changyu um, forfeited the race because he flipped out. So, okay. I see. 
Uh, Changmin in his purple suit. I feel like I'm going to be able to just see him clearly throughout the whole thing. Because uh, Jung Ho and uh, Jung Hyun are both wearing black, even though one has flowers. It, I, I, I might get them mixed up a bit with both wearing black. But Changmin, oh, I'm going to be able to tell you, baby. Okay, so everybody um, has done their first lap. Um, so for group A, Hyun and Eunchen won. For group B, um, Changmin and Jung Hyun won. And I think they want to share a room together. So I think no matter what, they want to share a room together. So as long as they win, they don't care. They get to place rooms with each other. Um, so now they're racing for first, um, for whoever is first. And Hyun is like, I am here for a relationship. So I want to share a room with someone I like. And I'm just like, don't do it. Because you're going to share a room with the person you like and find out they like someone else. And it's just going to be awkward. Throw away the whole man. Get a new man. Come on. I love that at this point, Eunchen and Hyun are just fighting for third and fourth place. Because Changmin and Jungyun just straight up took first and second. So... He's like, and that little boy Jung Hyun is like, at first I was worried, but then it was Chang Min, so I'm, I'm cool. He can take first place. Be good. <laughs> and then Chen came dead last, so Hyun came third, and Chen came last. Chang Min came first, and uh, my boy Jung Hyun came second. So Chang Min gets to choose the room allocation. Go figure. I had to pause and gasp because I don't know what just happened. But Changmin chose the double room and has selected Hyukjun to be his roommate. He did not select Jung Hyun to be his roommate. I don't know where this is about to go. But that boy Hyukjun getting on my damn nerves. Is he why why is he doing this? Is he doing it to like create a friendship with Hyukjun? Does he like Hyukjun? Does he not want to be in the same room as Jung Hyun? Cause he's like, I actually like him, so I want to like create space in the sleeping arrangement so that we can actually get to know each other before that I don't know. Does he like Hyukjun? He did like Hyukjun, yes! So is this his chance with Hyukjun or is he trying to see if he's over? Oh my gosh, this is stressing me out. <laughs> Hyun and Chen, they don't get to room with Hyukjun. Maybe that's what he was doing. He knew that Hyun and Chen, the whole drama, maybe he understands the drama. He's like, I'll just take him off the list so that they won't stress. Maybe that was it. And he also chose a double room. He probably chose the double room so they can sleep in separate beds. Maybe he's not interested. I, I need to get to the next episode. All right, let me finish this. And Samuel has to now move rooms. Samuel now has to move rooms. He probably was enjoying like rooming with Hyukjin as well because they're not into each other. So they just get to hang out and be friends and vibe. Oh my God. And Jung Hyun looks so sad. Like he really thought Changmin was gonna select him and it oh Changmin you're going into my list of trash men oh god all right so Unchen is moving room and Changmin and Sun Yul are switching um so Unchen and Jung Hyun are switching and Changmin and Sun Yul are switching <sighs> okay does Sun Yul like Sun Yul likes Changmin as well doesn't he oh my god how many people like Changmin everybody Everybody likes Changmin. Changmin is hot. <laughs> like, let's go. Has anyone seen that YouTube video? I think I posted a link to it where he was getting in shape. Oh my gosh. And now the two of them aren't talking. Jungyun and Changmin aren't talking. Oh my gosh. Everybody's moving Changmin's luggage. Changmin needs so much help to move. Oh my gosh. Man, they're all just falling over this dude. So now um, Changmin is following Jung Hyun around the house like a lost puppy. Um, it's obvious Jung Hyun is pissed at him. And he also wants nothing to do with Hyuk Jun either. <laughs> and like the three of them are kind of like just moving around each other. 
But it looks like Chang Min is just like really wanting to talk to him, but doesn't even know how to start the conversation. <laughs> and it's like, I'm sure everyone in the house feels the tension. There must be so much tension. And then Hyun again stirring up stuff, talking about Sunyeol and Changyu, who Changyu has found Jung Ho. There we go. So of course later they're having an awkward dinner, <laughs> very awkward, and uh, they ran out of chopsticks. So Changmin was eating with a spoon. They got to go, they got takeout. So Changmin is eating with a spoon, and <laughs> Jung Hyun is just like, "Do you need?" Do you need chopsticks? And Chang was like, no, no, I'm okay. I'll eat with a spoon. And Jung Hyun just looks at him and just walks off and gets him chopsticks. He, in the most passive, aggressive way, was like, I'm pissed at you, but you look like a fool eating ribs with a spoon. Here's your damn chopsticks. Oh, in such a passive, aggressive way. God, so complicated. <laughs> Why you gotta go and make things so complicated? Changmin, you're in. <laughs> and again, the music in this show is the best. Oh God, this song. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and Junghyo and Chengyu washing dishes together. They started the day by washing dishes together. They're ending the day by washing dishes together. Oh my god. So cute. I thought those were paper flowers. They were real roses. He gave him real roses and now they're wilted and just sitting on the floor. He couldn't even press them or something. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that is the end of episode 6. We're going to be going into episode 7. Um, as we're going into episode 7, we're going to have a quick little break. Then we're going to jump into episode 7. Um, what I think so far of episode 6, like this room change situation definitely changed the vibe of the house completely. And it all started with Changmin choosing Hyukjun. Like he just messed up everybody's day because half the house was after him anyway so this he just messed up the entire house's vibe and it's not his fault I mean we still haven't heard his reason for choosing Hyukjun as his um roommate I'm wondering if he's still gonna call like Hyunjin um whenever they do their confessions if they get to their confessions um in episode seven um or eight. Oh god please do it I'm so sad. I wanna know his reasoning. Um so yeah we're gonna take a quick little break and then we're gonna get to episode seven of his man. Um yeah see you on the flip all right welcome back from that short little break it's time to get into episode seven of his man I think Here's the thing. So when I was labeling it, I accidentally labeled it vice versa. Episode six. It is his man. Episode six. I don't know what is wrong with me. I am tired because I'm trying to get this all done in one night. And that was my first mistake. Hopefully none of my kids wake up again because I've been having to pause to go be a mom because I just had to have children. I know their joys. But that cuts into my podcasting. So yes, we're on episode seven. So the last episode as you remember uh they switched rooms changmin chose to be in the double room with hyukjun jungyeon who was pissed chose to be in the single room because of that and hyun chose the single room again probably so he could be on the same floor as hyukjun um so unchen now is in the quadruple room and so is senyo um, they're the only ones who had to go. Yeah, those are the only ones who switched rooms. So Hyukjun, Hyun, um, Changyu, and Jungho are all in the same room. And Changyu and Jungho seem to be getting along really well. But do they like each other, or is this just a really good friendship? Because they, is it me or do they look alike? Like to me, Jungho and Changyu, like are very similar in so many ways that to me they're just so alike maybe they're just 
have really similar personalities and they both came dead last so i guess maybe it's a match made in heaven they both came dead last in the um in the uh racing the car racing and i'm still so pissed at this but i guess it's better that this happens so that jung hyun i want to know why changmin did it everybody's there carrying changmin's luggage and treating him like a freaking prince because they all like him <laughs> and poor jung hyun like is getting no help it's just so sad I think after the room assignment, Jungho and Changgu are the only ones who are like cool with it. <laughs> We're still in the same room together. We're good. We became friends. <laughs> that kind of deal. Okay, so let's go through what just happened. So <laughs> Hyukjun and Changmin are awkward around each other in the room. Hyukjun is realizing he had it good with Sanyeol in the room because they're about the same age. They became friends. They're not interested in each other. So it was just real cool and friendly and nothing weird. Um, now he's sharing a room in Changmin. There's a more of an age difference a little bit. Um, but also they haven't really had time to get to know each other. So like they're not there yet. Um, <laughs> so they have a little awkward tension, but this is the thing. Sun Yul slept in the common room, uh, not the living room area, but the common room that's connected to the quad, um, the quadruple bedroom, um, where they play darts and stuff. <laughs> and i'm like why would you you would rather sleep on the floor in the common room than share bed with someone i guess there are people out there like that <laughs> i'd rather the bed i'm not sleeping on the floor <laughs> would i sleep on i have to think younger days no because um me and sunil are not that far apart in age so i should think now the way my bones set up i'm sleeping in the bed back aches knee aches man i just got a backache by thinking about back aches i mm, can't do it oh, the skincare routines in this like the fact that they had to take the time to shoot all the skincare routines again is making me wonder how much was there nothing to shoot of that they're like end up uh, he's putting on a clay mask <laughs> You see, that's me. Hyun, the way he woke up, the way he had to get back in bed and stretch again, that is me. How did Jung Ho wake up before everybody else and start? Oh, because he's on duty to prepare breakfast. He he got up early. My God. Was that a carton of eggs with just two eggs? Do those exist in Asia? Can you guys send it to the rest of us around the world? Because we need it. Like, I remember being a little girl in the countryside and being, and what is that? Is that Pad Thai? <laughs> I remember being a little girl in the countryside and being able, is that stir fry noodles? Like, what is it? I remember <laughs> being a little girl in the countryside and being able to, like, go to a farm and just be like, I need four eggs. Can't do that anymore because I don't live in the country anymore. Pad Thai! <laughs> I used to make pad thai but my pad thai was just not as good as this one restaurant i i go to i now just go to the restaurant and buy pad thai because i will never be as good as them so so far all it's been is who made breakfast jung ho oh he made pad thai oh it looks so good can't wait to eat like that's <laughs> that's all it's been that's all it's been <laughs> the flower is the big controversy so basically um of course on their date jung ho gave unchen some flowers as we recall unchen did not put the flowers in water so he didn't put it in water he didn't press them in a book nothing like that um and he just kind of had them sitting on the floor so jung ho was kind of pissed because he's like i gave this to him and he isn't taking care of it so he put it in water kind of just to be spiteful but it turns out, <laughs> it turns out Unchen wasn't throwing it out or anything or just leaving it carelessly. He kept, keeps it in his bag and had taken it out because he was moving stuff around and just forgot to put it back in his bag. So he was kind of careless, but he wasn't being careless, if that makes sense. Um, so that was the drama. <laughs> and we have solved the misunderstanding. When are we going to find out about Jung Yun and Chang Min? That's what I want to know. Oh, wow. The flowers really came back to life, though. That's so weird. 
Okay, so the first floor used to be very lively. And now the four people on the first floor, the quadruple room. So Unchen, Sun Yo, Jung Ho, Cheng Yu, it's now very quiet. But now Jung Hyun's room is the place to be. So he's in there doing Hyuk Jun's makeup. And then Unchen comes in and crawls in his bed. And then Chang Min comes in and crawls in his bed. Now Hyun is all up in the room crawling into bed as well. Like, so are we saying that Jung Hyun is where the party's at? Because that's what it's looking like. Changmin is sitting down to get his makeup done now. And ooh. Uh, and he wants everyone to leave the room so he can just talk to Changmin. And I don't blame him. I would want to talk to Changmin too. Everybody in this house needs to have a talk to Changmin. Like, all right, look, you need to let us know where your eyes are because we all keep calling you. <laughs> and your ass ain't calling us back. I said that and everyone just left the room everyone just no one's in the room just the two of them are they gonna have the conversation or not all of a sudden everybody's doing karaoke i wanted to know what was going on between Zheng Hyun and chang min and all of a sudden everybody's doing karaoke like what is going on okay this is the talent portion for real everybody's showing off because damn san yul is getting into it he probably picks a song he sings a lot. That's what I would do. Pick a song I sing all the time and just sing that. Like, yeah, no one will know if your skills are really good or not. You just are trained to sing that one song. <laughs> Yo, Unchen, please, please fix yourself. So unchen has been going off to Hyukjun from the beginning. And then he said after hearing Sun Yul sing, he might go after him. How fickle is your heart, my guy? How fickle is your heart? <laughs> I can't be out here protecting you like this, Unchan. <laughs> My guy. They call Sun Yul a wine taster. They're doing a thing where they're showing their original interviews before they got into the house. And they call him a wine taster instead of a sommelier. Like, is a sommelier a wine taster? Okay. Talking about their lives, the first question is... Um, when you realize your sexual orientation, all of this, two of them is high school. So for, I guess, yeah, that's about when you start to really notice because your hormones. He was 21. My guy. My guy. Just, uh, 20. Okay, yeah. Late, uh, well, still not late. That's actually still early and that's still figuring yourself out and like coming to that. Oh. Yeah, I am, huh? <laughs> There's people who figure it out when they're in their 50s. So, yeah, I mean, whenever you find your truth, you find your truth, and that's all that matters. Okay, so apparently Hyukjin never came out of the closet, which, cool. Like, I agree with him in that, you know, like, the whole idea of coming out is kind of silly and ridiculous. Um, But, <laughs> but... <laughs> He's basically coming out on a TV show. <laughs> That's different. It's different where, like, if, like, it's casual conversation, it's like, oh, you're gay. Okay, move on. You know, that's different <laughs> than going on a TV show. <laughs> it's like, I was watching this, like, um, what was it? It was Red Table Talk. And it had um, people in polyamorous relationships. And one of the persons said that she isn't out to anyone. So basically the show is her coming out. And someone else who was on the show said they basically did the same thing. Like their coming out was like an interview and that they regret that. Like they wish they had kind of told people first before doing that big grand coming out like that. Because it actually hurt the people in their life to hear it from a TV show than hear it from you. I hope you like understand that. It's like you didn't trust me enough or you like what did I do to make you feel like you couldn't tell me this truth about you or I already knew this about you. And instead, um, you'd rather tell the world um before confiding in a friend and it's like yeah it's not my business and it's your life and you do whatever you want but there is some hurt that is still there it's really weird to explain because 
like one you don't have the right to know what someone is um or the right to tell them how to come out or anything like that but there is like a pain as a friend or as a family member that you do feel like and you couldn't tell me like one-on-one you you tell the world before you talk to me because it, it's it's there is a pain there where you're like what did I do wrong to them how did I hurt them why they didn't feel safe to talk to me what did I do that made you not feel safe to talk to me <laughs> and there's also the flip where it's like you're such an attention seeking there's there's that too but um for me that's the wow what how did I hurt you <laughs> But I mean, like, I agree with him that I don't think it's necessary. And I think everyone should be able to just live their life and, you know, however. And if you know, you know, if you don't, you don't. And you move on with your life because um, who cares? But <laughs> Oh, God, I just remembered my uh, my husband has a really close friend who one of his really close friends is gay and like that whole coming out situation where he was like, ah, so that is your husband. <laughs> Wait, no, they weren't together. They weren't married yet. That is like, oh, so that is your boyfriend. I was wondering, but I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> and he was like, but you've met him so many times. How did you not know he was my, my boyfriend? And it's like, cause you never told me. <laughs> and that realization between the two of them, like, oh, I never actually came out to you. Like, no, you didn't. <laughs> ah, I apologize. <laughs> but like, again, it wasn't that big a deal. It was just like, it was just a conversation between them. It was like, I suspected that I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to be wrong. But at the same time, I was like, if you wanted me to know, you tell me, <laughs> whatever. Um, and they're still really close. It, uh, it was never an issue before or after. But yeah, I'm I'm gone on a tangent. Let's let's watch um <laughs> let's watch the show. And again, Changyu as well didn't come out of the closet. Oh my gosh, you're so young, baby. He's so young and cute. Like Hyukjin, I'm like, guy, uh, he's he's in his thirties. <laughs> He's at that point in life where he don't need to care no more. But Chang is only twenty six. I guess I'm seeing him as a child because to me, like, oh, twenty six, you're such a young kiddo. <laughs> oh, baby, I just want to hug you. I like Chamin's answer where they ask, um, "Why do you wait on coming out or something like that?" And he's like, "You don't have to come out if you don't want to." like and continued by saying other things but yeah that's it you don't have to come out if you don't want to because it's your it's your business it's not the world's business so yeah that's perfect you know Hyukjin and Yunshin have like I'm thinking about it like Yunshin works as a um what was it a department manager what is he again I can't remember his job but he he goes out and meets clients and stuff like that is what it seems like his job is and then uh Hyukjun is a hairstylist and again he's very like I guess manly <laughs> I guess so yeah I can as also see for them um well more Unshan in his career and his position why he's like I will stay in the closet and I can kind of also see it for Hyukjun like um especially like styling men I can just imagine the comments men will make because they are idiots not all men I know <laughs> but yeah so I can also understand for him why he's like uh, I'd rather just not <laughs> um as well um yeah like it's I, I, oh, I see them completely. I see them completely. I, 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 I get it. <laughs> that was actually kind of emotional for me watching the whole thing and, um, everybody talking about, you know, the things they've heard and the reasons why they ha- hadn't come out. Um, and, uh, Changmin talking about having to prove himself by going on the heterosexual dating show, which, um, yeah, I saw that he was on that and then in the interview he did where he came out and talked about the going on the dating show, the other guy said, yeah, he knows a lot of gay guys who go on those dating shows because you're just like, ah, it's fun. It's not like I'm actually going to come out of it with a date. <laughs> you know, it's just TV. That's all it is. It's just TV. 
Um, so yeah, um, and especially with Changmin, um, I guess a lot of the comments he gets is "There's no way you're gay," like because of the way he looks. Which, what? <laughs> but whatever. Um, <laughs> I think it's just women who really want him. Like, no, you can't be like he is. F off. Um, so like he does get those comments as well. Um, because he's a very handsome fellow, and I'm sure a lot of these guys are gonna end up getting those comments, and we're gonna see the whole "well, he looks gay, but he doesn't" kind of scenario play out. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I loved seeing the interviews. I love these guys. I want them, but I want to get to the drama. <laughs> who calls who? I'm actually ready to get to the phone booth now. Like, I want to see who calls who. I want to see who ends up with who. Um, I want Chang Min to call Jung Hyun and apologize. I want Jung Hyun to call Chang Min and they get to talk for 30 seconds or more. And then they go into each other's room and then, um, they talk so long that Chang Min falls asleep in Jung Hyun's room and, uh, Hik Jin sleeps by himself <laughs> in the double room. I'm done. <laughs> and then they just find out that they're meant to be. And, um, I'm supposed to be focused on Eun Chen, huh? He's my baby. He's my he's my son. He's my baby. I've adopted him. Is that a pride Jenga set? <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I want one. But I want it with the ace flag. That's what I want. Oh, it's one of the question ones? Oh my god, this is fun. Okay, so I'm skipping the first question. The first question does not exist because <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that. <laughs> the second question they asked if um, a couple can go from friends to being uh, lovers and everyone's saying yes or no and all that. And Hyun is like, straight people do it all the time. <laughs> Which, I mean, yes, <laughs> they do. <gasps> I am not one of them. <laughs> um <clears throat> i prioritize friendship <laughs> um but uh yeah the um everybody's like talking about if they could if they couldn't and um it's it's actually cute the answers but the answer that got me was jung ho was like oh i wouldn't be able to do it i'll just confess <laughs> like i like him too much i can't be his friend i, I just have to tell him i like him and Changyu is kind of looking at him, and I'm like, "Does Changyu like Jung Ho now? What is happening? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Does he like Jung Ho? Get to the phone call so I can find out." But this is this is fun too. Is there anyone you want physical contact with now? Ooh, he said yes. So Jung Ho said yes. Where where are all the things? Hyun <laughs> 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 and Chen <laughs> touching each other. Like, do you there's someone you want physical contact with? <laughs> That's so funny. Hyun messing with him. Favorite type of skinship. My favorite type of skinship is holding hands. So Hyun likes kissing. Jung Yun likes sniffing. <laughs> what is sniffing? Like a dog? Like what? Sniffing each other's hair, his neck? What is it? Sniffing his neck while hugging. Okay. Kissing his cheek. Un Chen kissing his cheek. Cheng Yu likes to hug and he looks like a hugger. Oh, he wants to feel the heartbeat while hugging. Oh my god, no, that's it. Oh, we get into some other questions. Okay, so Jung <laughs> Jung Ho has finally been explained. He lived in New Zealand as a child. Now I get the romanized version of his name. Why he showed off with that? Okay, I get it now. I get it now. All right, Jung Ho, I see you. I see you. Um, but they're asking, when did you first realize you were homosexual? Hmm. Jung Ho is telling his story, and you can watch the episode and get everybody's stories. Hyun just said, oh, they, they've moved on to many questions, but um, Hyun just said he would want two weddings, one with, like, him in his suit and the other one with him in drag, and I'm like, 
I now want two weddings. <laughs> I already had a wedding, so I can have my next wedding and like dressed up. We can do cosplay. Who should we dress as? Oh my god. I didn't even think of this. We can be like zombies getting married or something. I've never thought of that. Why can't I have a second wedding and just do my thing? Oh, that would be so much fun. Thank you, Hyun. Thank you. Okay, so I have to talk about Jung Hyun real quick. So Jung Hyun just talked about coming out to his friends and how his friends were like, yeah, we already knew you were gay and it's good because that means one less competitor. <laughs> and I'm just like... At one point in college, I rolled with lesbians and only lesbians. <laughs> it wasn't like on purpose or anything. It's just we were the like gamer girls <laughs> in the gaming um, society. So like I rolled with them because we're into the same stuff and we're having fun. <laughs> I remember like all of us, we were out somewhere two of them two of them were together two of them were not together yes yeah, so two of them were a couple the rest of us were all like single <laughs> okay yeah two, two of them were a couple they're actually married now they're so beautiful and they have a son he's so cute and um, anyway so two of them were together um the rest of us were single and <laughs> someone was like looking at them was like oh, okay um so you guys are a couple um <laughs> Uh, so the rest of you girls are looking for ladies <laughs> and i'm just sitting there like not me <laughs> i'm the token straight girl <laughs> and i was like one of them was like yeah we keep you around <laughs> we keep you around so that if any guys come hitting on us we can just point them to you <laughs> like no 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 ignore us just go to her go to her <laughs> you have a chance with her you have no chance with us <laughs> I'm just there to bounce off the guys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's a group <laughs> for everyone. I'm gonna I'm hurt somebody for my baby Unchen. I'm gonna hurt. I want to know the names of the students so I can go fight them now. I don't care that they're no longer in high school and they're all 28 years old. I will fight them right now. For hurting my baby Unchen. Oh my gosh. So you need to keep watching. He talks about a time. He didn't realize that he would be outed. In school. I want to fight them right now. Oh my baby. That's my child. Okay. No. Oh, we must protect Unchen at all costs. He is so cute. He's, he's my darling. This episode is a tearjerker. Oh my gosh. This is... Mm, I can't handle it. Oh my gosh. I'm in tears. Oh. And I'm mad at the producers because this song is banging. I want to know who sings it. But I am so sad right now. Like, oh my gosh. So they just talk, they just mentioned something very important that I feel like a lot of people don't get. I remember we were like sitting around and having this conversation in college because um, I don't remember why the topic came up. It was probably um, it was like a philosophy class or something that I, I don't think it was philosophy, but something along those realms. And the question basically it arrived to. Um, oh yeah it started at the fact that kids were coming out at younger ages and then it arrived to this whole thing that there are more gay people now and I remember my argument was um, like there aren't more gay people now it's just that we they're more visible now um, because they don't have to hide in the dark anymore um, and then like about the kids thing I was like it's not necessarily that kids are coming out earlier um it's just that now kids, because everything is more visible, when once kids start to realize who they are, they don't have that fear about telling their truth anymore because there's role models to look at. There's um, people they can watch online. Um, I remember this one girl. Um, I don't know who the video was, but it's this woman who was talking about bisexuality. 
and I, like you just like um on Heartstopper where uh Nick is watching um the guy talk about bisexuality and discovering his sexuality the girl I'm talking about it was the same thing she was watching this girl talk about bisexuality and pansexuality and it was helping her you know 13 year old self discover who she is and it's like oh my gosh yes yes this this is how I feel this this is it and coming to that realization and I was so happy for um, and also, you know, I, I, I'm sadly at the age where I have friends with kids who are at the ages where they're coming out or, you know, they're exposed because they're so exposed. They they're in a place where they just accept people for who they are. It's it's no question for them. Um, when uh, my friend's daughter came out, we were just like happy for her i was like i already knew it but yeah <laughs> like how did you already know well, I, actually i thought she was a lesbian so i was wrong technically <laughs> i did not expect her to go hey, boys are cool too um but like we were just embracing her and like yeah girl we don't care we love you um and she gets to hang out with the adults <laughs> so she loved that but like kids are now a lot of kids, not all sadly, but a lot of kids are now in this place where it's safe to come out um, because their parents have been exposed and understand that, you know, being gay is not a choice. And so, yeah, is there more gay people now? No, there's more visible gay people now. There's more visible LGBTQ plus representation. So there's more visible LGBTQ plus people with that that's that's it comes hand in hand (laughs) it's like i'm trying to think of like something to compare it to but there is no comparison that is the example because that is real life that is it um but yeah is it more no it's just more visible and because it's more visible people feel safer speaking their truth and it's always great to speak your truth. Are they trying to figure out who he likes? All right, so Daniel dropped everything. So, th- ooh, let me pause it because they just asked a really good question. I'm um, Jungho. I just asked a really good question. Um, so Daniel lost the game because the Jenga blocks fell when he was picking up block, and so now he has to answer questions from everyone. So they're all trying to find out, figure out who he likes. So they're like, "All right, do you like the same person you liked when you st- first came in? Are they on the left or on the right?" Um, and then Jung Hyo just asked, what is that charm that that person has that attracted you to them? And I cannot wait because we're all going to be like, it's this person. I mean, I think it's Changmin. Is it still Changmin? It's probably still Changmin. Poor Changmin. Half the house likes him. <laughs> okay. Jung Hyo's question was really good. Sunil answered it very nicely. Um, he's learned that not all times opposites attract. Sometimes having someone similar to you is good too. But yo, Unshin and Hyun are on something again. <laughs> These two. Oh my gosh. I love my Unshin. Um, so they are about to, all right, let, let's just watch. <laughs> but it looks like they're about to do some questions stuff to try and figure out who each person likes is that what they're going for i need to just watch and figure it out oh my god so they're all just gonna talk about a situation that made them feel moved in the house and unchen my unchen said that he and hyukjun when they um when he applied for a date with him anyway they uh that um hyukjun put his hand on Unchan's shoulder and it moved him. But Hyukjun's response is, I did that? <laughs> Throw out the whole man. Get rid of him. Put him in the trash. How dare he? He should have, why did he say that? He should have been like, oh, that moved you? And ended it there. I did that? <laughs> Mother. Then who ends the whole conversation? He's an ass. Oh my god, made Unchan embarrass himself and no one else is embarrassing themselves. <laughs> oh god, that's so cute though. Unchan doesn't get embarrassed easily, it looks like though. He's very okay with just 
speaking his mind, it seems. So maybe he'd be okay with saying that. And Junkyun just said something that I've like been thinking since the first episode. I really hope people don't watch this show and stare at it like, oh my God, look at the homosexuals. <gasps> they wash their faces just like us. Sorry. Like, but yeah, that whole <laughs> that whole kind of deal. I hope that doesn't happen. This is actually longer than the first episode. I think there's just more meat in this episode than the last episode. My question is, they live at the same house. Is everybody arriving at different times or is it just Jung Ho and somebody else? Like what's happening right now? Why is Jung Ho at this cafe? Okay, Hyun walks in. So is it that they're setting up dates for different people in different places and Jung Ho and Hyun end up on a date? But they're friends. They're not into they have they made it clear they're not into each other or are they like I don't know. Oh, or is there an attraction going on? I thought they were just friends and I thought they already like cuz they know each other before they're like ah, that we're friends. We're good. Okay, so they are just friends. They are just friends. I was wondering because I was like, I just assumed that they were just friends because they were like, oh, hey, it's you. Yeah, what's up? And I thought that was it. That was the end of it. And it seems to be the end of it. And they're just talking now because they've never had a chance to really talk to each other. Okay. Um, Jung Ho and um, Hyun just had a really wonderful conversation um, about like performing. And um, Hyun had told the story of his friend bringing um their mom to one of his drag performances and how much the mom enjoyed it and Jung Ho just told the story of how he did a dance um and when he did the dance his friend's parents came up and hugged him and told him he is where he belongs and I'm like that must suck like to have someone else's mother and father or you know parents hugging you or telling you how wonderful you did like all that stuff you can't get that from your own parents oh my i can't i can imagine the pain because i've had little situations like that um with you know doing um filming and stuff like that and like having my show where i'm showing my work and then no one comes in my family and other people are like you're so good at this keep doing it i've had those situations um so i know how much it sucks to not have your family support it but my case is still different because i just you know go home and it's oh we never made it to your show show us the video we want to see it now and then it's oh wow it's really good you know that kind of deal and and it still hurts because they weren't there but you know at least I know I can still get support at home in a sense, even though I don't get support in the way I wanted. Um, but for them, it's like not getting the support at all. And it's just a deeper level and it just sucks. I can't. And and saying things like, oh, I'll be your mom now or I'll act as your, you know, it, it still hurts because you still want the validation of your parents you can have that surrogate parent who is there for you which i eventually did have um that surrogate person who came to all of my stuff and also when i met my husband he came to everything <laughs> he was like what you got going on okay a performance yeah i'll be there oh you're, you're in a play i'll come to watch the play <laughs> everything i was in he was like oh you're doing an audition let me let me show up at that audition too like he supported me through everything including when i would i had to audition for something and i need to record it re needed to record my part and he just dryly <laughs> was stood there reading the script to give me my lines <laughs> so i'm like go go out that door right now i have to leave because you told me to but not because I want to. That's right. <laughs> you know, like us just acting differently. But, you know, like having, you know, that support and then having the other people who came in and support did fill some of the void. But it doesn't change the fact that having your parents there is like next level. 
it's different. You're always going to want to impress your parents. No matter how you feel about your parents, even when you like deep down like have hatred for them, there's still this part that just wants them to be proud of you. And that, that's it. You just want to make them proud. Like just have that moment of you finally notice me. And oh, I feel it. Oh, I feel the pain. Oh my gosh. And I'm crying again. Stop making me cry. Okay, so they've there's been a change to the rules. Basically, everyone um, has a card. and You have to write your name on the card and you drop it in the box of the person you want to date. Ooh. <laughs> Changmin, you better drop that in Junghyun's box. And Unshan, I'm sorry. I don't know who I want to drop anything in your box at this point. I, I don't want Hyukjun for you because he is a flippity floppity. Well, did he really flip flop? Yes, he's a flippity floppity flop. So no, we're not going with him, okay? Um, if you're interested in Sunil, I mean, Sunil needs to move on. <laughs> so I guess. Um, and and Chang Yu and Jung Ho, I hope they end up on a date together because the two of them are so cute together. Like, aesthetically, they just look really nice together. Is that what I'm going off now? Yeah, aesthetically. These two look like they should be a couple because aesthetically, oh my gosh, I know someone that that happened to. Like, I, I can't name names, but basically, I know someone who, like, a company that does, like, advertising firm work, something like that, was working with this um, YouTube star. And they're like an assistant, okay? So they're just like in the meeting, like helping out, taking notes, like grabbing people water, stuff like that. And they were told because of the way they look aesthetically, because um, not the main YouTuber, but one of the other like influencers there who's up and coming to give them more popularity, the two of them (laughs) should date because they look good together and my friend was like i can't do that because i'm engaged (laughs) but they were like how serious is the relationship they're like i'm engaged but yeah it was like one marketing firm or something i didn't remember but yeah they were like trying to set them up like the managers they're like no like you know just take a couple pictures together you'd be the mystery person (laughs) oh my god yo companies do that just keep that in mind there are companies who that's how they set up a lot of stars they're just like aesthetically you guys look good together how many letters do you think is going to be in changman's box though i feel like changman is going to have the most full oh man oh poor Jonghyun so he likes Changmin but he feels like Changmin wants Hyukjun so he doesn't even know oh, put it in Changmin's box please be Changmin's box he dropped that in Hyukjun's box he had to have dropped that in Hyukjun's box the, the speed he went on there's no way he dropped that in Changmin's box has to be Hyukjun's box again Changmin too popular way too popular is Changmin left handed Here's the thing. If Changmin is left-handed, that only adds to his like handsomeness to me for me for some reason. It's like he's even more handsome. He's left-handed. Why? Oh, I know why. So if one person is left-handed and the other person's right-handed, you guys can sit together and hold hands while riding. Like they just have to sit on your left and you're on their right, and that way you can hold hands and still like write stuff. And I know this from dating a left-handed guy in high school. Congratulations, I gave you some info. I feel like Chairman is going to have most of the stuff. Oh, who is that? Oh, he put it in a different box. What if they keep switching up the box every time someone comes outside because they want to, like, just confuse everyone? <laughs> How many of them got no letters whatsoever? Oh my gosh. 
All right, so everyone is going on their dates. They've been grouped on. Oh, it's going to be activities, though. I'm excited about this. I want to see who ends up going on date with who. I'm trying to tell by clothes. All right, that's Hyun. <laughs> I'm trying to tell by clothes and walk and stuff like that who is who. But I'm so excited for this week's episode. I am, like, loving this. Oh, God. Looks like there's going to be some heartbreaks and stuff, too. Oh, yo. Do you think Chanmin... I'm I'm going based off only the look on Hyuk Jun's face. Do you think Chanmin was like, I don't have those feelings for you? <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is happening? All right. So, Thursday. Thursday is the next episode. And I cannot wait. I'm sure you cannot wait too um yeah i am very excited i can't wait to see where this goes next um my ships <laughs> this is so weird all right so my ships i guess um are jonghyun and changmin i i ship it <laughs> um jongho and uh uh changyu i ship it thoroughly um hmm well, the other four exist. Maybe Hyun and Hyuk Jun should um continue to get to know each other, which sadly just leaves. <laughs> and Shannon said y'all is like the leftovers. You know what? No, that oh no. I don't know. <laughs> but I know who I ship, and I ship me some um chang yu and jung ho i like i said in that poster they just look so cute together they're definitely both as aesthetically pleasing with each other i think they frame each other very nicely in that picture um i didn't like <laughs> ignore that that was me being silly um but yeah i'm so excited and i can't wait to go to bed because it's really late and i stayed up to do this Thank you guys so much. Have a good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night, whatever it is, wherever you are.